So Dr. Chickley, I'd like to ask you a question regarding the new class, the BCRB, that's coming in December. Um, I've heard about you know some of the cranial rhythm and the bone marrow, but I'm a little bit confused or wanted to have some explanation about how the brain and how we're looking at it in relationship to the cranial rhythm. Yes, yeah, so you know, uh, when Sutherland talked about the five components of the craniosacral system, the first line that eventually put on the top is the inherent motility of the brain and spinal cord. And people don't use it so much, but there's a very clear movement of this brain and spinal cord to inflection and extension. Now, there's a very old tradition in the Greek, from Galen, Baclivi, Pacioni, Swedenborg, 1668-1772, so a long time ago in Sweden, they talk about different way with the with different movement of the brain, the membrane pumping. There's a whole tradition of movement that eventually Sutherland um, uh, created this whole system around. And uh, we forgot that there's a whole tradition before that. And it's very clear in Swedenborg, the flexion of the brain, extension of the brain. Swedenborg talked about primary respiration, secondary respiration. And we're gonna start with this movement because I'm very interested to follow movement of the nerves in the body, spinal and cranial nerve, uh, movement of the fascia in relation to flexion extension of the brain and the bones and then see that some fascia uh, go in one direction, the other direction, some viscera go toward each other, other just close to them, away from each other. It's a magnificent symphony. And I just want to remind you that Sutherland chose in his terminology to, to call that a flexion, extension, but for example, that would be a cerebral, a cranial extension and flexion. So it's just a way to look at the whole system and we're going to slowly understand what happened in that symphony to the whole body between bone, joint, fascia, and understand the whole system. What happened when you go into extension of the, of, the, of the brain and opening of the bone, something enter your body and you're going to integrate some kind of energy through that whole system that is connected with the bone marrow. And by the way, uh, not so long ago they found some channel that directly connect the bone marrow and the membrane inside the cranium. And it's something that we're never sure, but there's a direct correlation between those two systems, and that's what we're gonna explore. Sounds amazing, thank you very much.